Well, exactly a year ago this afternoon, an 18 year old armed person with a semiotic assault rifle walked into a South Texas elementary school and opened fire, killing 19 students and two teachers. For many of us, it was the first time we'd ever heard of the small town of Uvalde added to the tragic list of mass shootings across the country. Jay Gray reports from the community still grieving and searching for answers. A year later, Uvalde is strong, but still struggling. Families devastated, hearts torn. 19 innocent, unsuspecting children and two teachers murdered inside their classrooms at Robb Elementary. The calendar says it's been a year since the attack. It almost feels like time stands still. For it so does. Many. May 24th has, you can't, as the families ourselves, of course, some the community members, there's no moving, there's no moving on. The pain of unimaginable loss, overwhelming for families of the victims. Every day, every second. You know, and just imagine everything you love getting ripped from you. Agony, magnified, some say, by a slow-moving investigation, a lack of accountability for responding officers who waited more than an hour to confront the gunman, and a failure of the Texas legislature to pass stricter gun laws in the wake of the massacre. And you, representatives, are failing these communities in our state by choosing to use your own beliefs and personal gains to continue to make mistakes. For many here, nothing makes sense anymore. Their small town, dotted by murals and memorials, honoring friends and family, gone for a year now, and never coming home. Jay Gray, NBC News, Uvalde.